guys, I thought that it would be fun to do a chalk couture video today. I have got it. We got to move on to Valentine's Day. So, and they have such cute ones um, that I thought I'd give you. I do a couple of them. I'll do maybe three. I'm thinking. I'll show you here in a second. But um, Kef isn't here. It's just me. So hopefully we'll get through this. But I've got a couple that I kind of wanted to try, and I thought I'd start from the beginning to show you guys. You know how we start with the chaco tour. How easy it is. How easy is it is to apply it and then, um, you know, rinse it off and all, the whole process from beginning to end. I'll put it up on the stand and then I'll show you the three different projects that we're gonna do. Well, I don't know, we might try this one first. I got this darling mirror and I got several, several different shapes. I'll put it down so it doesn't reflect. Anyway, this is a heart, but I've also got a circle and kind of a scallopy one. And I thought it might be fun to put the sparkle on this and see what it looks like. So that's one of them we're gonna do. Then I also thought the darling new transfer that says you are enough. Only customers could buy it, but they gave it to us as our, our, um, our transfer of the month, but I couldn't buy it. So I've only got one of them. But anyway, your enough would look really cute on this too. So we might try that later, but I'm gonna try the sparkle first, okay? And then, I'm going to do this one, which is just a cute little Valentine. You're just my type with the little hearts there on the bottom. We're going to do that one. So we're going to do that one. We're going to do sparkle. And I, I love this frame. It's a chalkboard with this cute pink frame. Is that the cutest? I want to put in it. She believed she could, so she did. I love that. And then also, we could. I have a couple others we could do, maybe a Valentine. But I love that. She believed she could, so she did. That's something that could be up all year. So I'm going to do those, for sure, those three projects. Oh, and I've got this heart that I thought I might try something on. Probably not while I'm filming today. That's probably too much. But I may do this one. This one was a simple heart. I got it at Michael's. I thought maybe just that love would be cute on it. Just about the right size, so we'll see. I'll see if I can get to that. I've got my white ink. I'm gonna use the ink today because the sparkle, I can't put a, um, a gloss finish over it so it doesn't get dinged up. So I'm gonna use the ink so that it's a permanent, okay? And then she believes she could, I'm gonna do that in permanent and I'm gonna think I'm gonna do it in like a, I'm thinking about using the shimmer silver. That's what I'm thinking about for that one. The sparkle, I'm definitely gonna use one of the golds, probably the shimmer copper. It's not quite as better with the finish on the mirror there. And you're just my type, I'm gonna do in just white and um, red. So just your basic for that one. So I, I'm gonna start at the beginning, and I think I have before, but we'll, this just kinda helps you to know. So I, I have a transfer you're just my type. It came, it, it was part of a, a large transfer. And on the little lines that you can see right here, can you see those, oh, the glare is bad, but you can see that line right there. Those are cutting lines. And I realized that I've never talked about that, but those are where you can cut it out so that you can use different parts of the transfer at different times. So I've already cut out, you're just my type, and I've cut out the hearts. There are some, there's like a arrow on here and a couple of other things, okay? Now, the second thing you've got to do is you've got to write on the back. You're just my type, whatever the transfer is. Because then after you've cleaned it, you know which one it goes back on. Because I'm bad. I mean, a lot of you would remember, but I, I can't remember. So look what I did on this. So I did hearts and I did a drawing of the five hearts. Because there's a bunch of different hearts on that one. So I do that. On this one, it had the little instructions on it, so I just wrote sparkle to the side. Noticing also that on you write it on the back because you think you can tell the difference between the like shiny, not sticky side and the paper side, but it's really hard to tell. So since I've written there, I know I need to put the transfer back on that other side. So there's that. And then I wrote, she believes she could, so she did on that side, okay? Let's do, um, should we start with a sparkle one? I cleaned this 
and I think maybe we'll start with this one. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'll move this over here so that you guys can see this. We need to fuzz our transfer, okay? Silly, I know, it sounds silly, but um, especially with a mirror, it's probably gonna stick really good because it's, um, it's got such a good adhesive on the back of it. So when we say we're gonna fuzz it, I'm gonna take it off of its backing, and now watch me, I won't be able to. I've, shut, I've gotta put my glasses back on for this. I, oh, that one's not gonna peel off. Let's try another corner. Here we go, okay. So I take my transfer, I'm peeling it off. This is just a little one, so it's not very um, scary. Some of the bigger ones are kinda of scary because they fold up upon themselves. I've taken it off. And now I'm gonna put it down, so I'm gonna, you're gonna get not see me anymore, okay? I'm gonna put it on this little towel. Let me see if I can bring this closer. Sorry guys, didn't mean to make you sick. I'm still learning. Okay, so on this towel, this is just a you know kitchen watermelon fuzzy towel. I'm gonna fuzz it on this, which means it's just gonna take a little bit of the stickiness off of it. And that didn't do too much, so I'm gonna try it again over here. And maybe, maybe it's not too sticky. You know, sometimes I don't know why it is and I don't what, know what causes it, but sometimes they seem to be stickier than other times. So just so you know, you've got to fuzz your transfer, okay? And especially um, when it's on a surface. Yeah, I can see now, it's picked up some lint. You just want to pick up a little bit of lint, okay? After you wash it, all of the stickiness will come back. So I fuzzed that transfer and now I'm going to bring this here. I'm trying to, that's a hard one because it's a mirror. I don't want it to kill your eyes. And I want it to be, I want to get all those little sparkles in. I guess I could do it sideways. Oh gosh, somebody tell me what to do now. I kind of like it sideways. Let's look. But then if you did it like this, you could still look in it like a mirror. Well, you could too this way. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Let's try it this way. If we don't like it, we'll wipe it off. It, with the ink, there, there feels like there's like a little, yeah, there's a little too much of a fuzzy there. Whoops. It picked up a little piece of cotton there, more than it should have. And I'm trying to move it away from the silk screen. That's better. Okay, so, um, I'm just going around with my finger just to make sure, on this one you can see it really easily, but sometimes there wants to be bubbles. Just around where you're gonna put your, your um, ink on, you don't want it to have bubbles. You want it to be flat against the surface of, the, of whatever surface you're using. So this one is sparkle. I'm wondering if I feel good about that. I kinda like it there. And I'm going to use, what did I say I was going to use this one that I just hid? I'm going to use the Shimmer Copper because it, I feel like it goes better with that edge. The gold is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to go with the Shimmer Copper. Here it is. Here's my, it's a lovely, the, the ink is just a great consistency. Usually you don't even need to stir it up. It is so good. Um, I can stir it up just to make sure that it's all, but it's, oh my gosh, it's just so great. Um, I don't know the different couture ink as opposed to the paste is always tends to be a little bit more, um, not as thick, okay? So let's do this one. Let's see what happens, you guys. I, I, I just don't even know. I've never done anything on a mirror. So this will be interesting. I'm trying to make sure you can see it. Nope, it's gotta go this way. I keep thinking it's gotta go towards you, but I don't think it's, I think it's good right there. Okay, sparkle. Am I good there? I think I am. Let's see. I'm just taking a little bit of the ink. Okay, I'm going to clean that off just a little bit. Just took a little bit of paste. And now let's peel and reveal, you guys. I'm curious. This is going to be hard to get off, especially by myself. It would help if I had another set of hands. The, the, um, oh, that's kind of pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I'm taking this and I'm putting it in my pan of water over here, my, my cookie sheet, which you can't see. Yes, you can, right there. I'm gonna put it in my cookie sheet 
and rinse it off in the water and it will then come out perfectly and I'll clean it off in just a minute. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know, it's kind of pretty. It's kind of hard to read it a little bit. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it. I don't know, I like it. It might be kind of fun to do some more of the little sparkles on it. See that little one right there? Move my hand. I might add a couple more of those to it, maybe up here in the corner. Maybe up there in the corner. I don't know, there you go. Okay, one down, we did one project. Okay, let's, my nose, I got sick you guys and my nose wants to run. My nose always wants to run, but now it's worse. I'm gonna move my gold away because I thought we would do um, this, this little simple one, you're just my type. So here we are again, we're gonna take it off, and I did, okay, and we're gonna just kind of fuzz it up just like we did before. There we go, here. I need to decide um, exactly where this should go so that I can get this little guy on and kind of center it. And I will do this and then I'll do the, the hearts on. That looks good. You're just my type. I love it. And again, I'm just making sure that we don't have any bubbles. I'm going to be able to peel that up. I want always want to make sure that I've fuzzed it enough. Sometimes you got to go back and fuzz it again, you know? You just have to see. But that feels pretty good. I don't ever press down on the edges so that I can go back and, and grab them and peel them up. So I'm just going to do this in white. And I, um, again, here's my white. It's really kind of, I've used more of it, of course. And it's a little bit thicker just because I've used it more. But actually, well, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spritz, not much. My little sprayer, my mister. Last time I sprayed me in the face with it. So this time we'll try to get it in the chalk. You guys, I love chalk couture. I, I just, I can't tell you. I've had so much fun with it. And um, I love all of my hobbies. I love paper, I love everything. I love cross stitch, I love needlepoint. I love all of it, but this is so satisfying because you can get something done so quickly and it looks so nice. So I, I don't know, it's just been fun for me in between my cross stitching to have this um, to do and, and finish and then, and then tonight, later on when I'm just sitting down, I'll do my cross stitch. Okay, white, here we go. You do want to be careful that you don't dry out your ink. You want to do it kind of rapidly so that it doesn't dry out. But again, I have to say, the paste is different. The paste is, you have to be more careful. You've got to be more quick about it. Um, whereas the ink, you, you've got a little bit of leeway with it. And it gives you a little bit of time because it's just a little bit moister. I'm sure it's whatever they put in the um, ink as opposed to the the paste. The ink is permanent and that's why we're using that today. Now I will tell you that I have to be careful because I am a messy crafter and so I'm gonna get my wipes here. We don't clean the, the with the wipes but I want to make sure and, and I could get this off if it were on the thing but I would rather just be careful and get it off to begin with. Okay, let's peel and reveal. Oh my gosh, is that so cute? Oh my heck, that's cute. It's so bright, I love it. I need to get that off so it doesn't hit it. Oh gosh, that is darling. Okay, let's put this in the water. Okay, so you guys, here it is. And now I'm gonna put it right in a water bath and I'll clean it. I think I'll just wait until I've done all three projects. Now, if this were going to cover my what I've already done right here, I would want to wait or make sure that this was dry, but I actually think I'm just gonna put these low enough that I don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna put right there and they're just little hearts and I'm just again, pressing those down and we're gonna do that in the red. 
and I've got the red, I've used the red a lot, so it might need to be, I've just got a bunch of stirs here, you guys, that I've gotten at the, oh, it's pretty good. It's pretty still very, very ooey gooey. So we're good, just good to kind of stir it up a little bit. I don't know, this is really cute. I have to tell you all, this is, it's turning out cute. Just for a simple Valentine thing, okay. That's darling, get out of here. Oh my heck. Okay, here we are again. It's got the stuff on it, it's got the ink. And I'm gonna put it over here in my water bath. Oh my heck. Okay, I'm sorry, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, I love it. I think that's really cute. Okay, setting it over here to dry. Over Christmas, I bought some more um, I just can't seem to have enough squeegees. And I have this one that is the multi-tool, and it's excellent, especially with the chalks for going in. This one, you can just go around that edge and get all of the chalk mixed together. So I got another one of those, I got another one of those, I got some more squeegees. Because I um, tend to cut up my squeegees into smaller, I like the smaller, <sighs> being able to go in like with that Noel that I did at Christmas, those little berries and then the leaves. I like to be able to have the control of a smaller, like this one when I've cut it up. So, okay, you guys, let's go, let's move on to the, uh, got these makeup things at the makeup, not the makeup store. I have a little local, um, oh, it's such a great store. It has all kinds of like, Darling, you know, good Q-tips that I have found that are hard on the end if I need to use them for chalk couture. And then it's got these, these makeup things that I, I've used a lot. So where's my, here's this, I'll move this over. Okay, the silver's good. Now we need to fuzz this. She believes she could, so she did. This is a bigger one, not giant. People have been using Norwex towels, you guys, to do fuzzing and to, and I don't have any, but I've been thinking about getting them because they don't have any, like they don't transfer lint, right? I, I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, they um, they will uh, fuzz theirs on that. So that's, if you have Norwex, you might wanna try that. Yeah, this is, ooh, this is sticky. Maybe because it's so much bigger, we I find it's a little bit stickier. I don't know, that's an interesting, I love this. I think it's so cool. I love the saying because it's just so true, you know? She believes she could, you gotta believe it. Oh, sometimes it's hard, but you gotta believe it and then you can do it. You can, you can accomplish that, right? Okay, here we go. Um, this is this darling frame. Now, you guys, it's not gonna fit completely. I've gotta get, I'm gonna try and get the majority of the S and I'm gonna cut off that, okay, that, that will work right there. Now, what, what, how far down? I like to make it sure it's centered a little bit. Ooh, that, that D has gotta be on there though. Oh, this is a tough one. Maybe I, what if I kind of skewed it a little bit so it's not straight? Is that gonna bug people? Let me see how far that S. I'm just kind of pushing it in so I can see what I've got. I would really like all of the S on she to be on there. So what if we move it over just a hair more? And I am doing it ski wampus. Is the D's okay? The B's okay? The S is okay now. Okay, so I'm cutting off that D, you guys. Let's just see what this looks like. Again, well, you know what? It's kind of got to come down a little farther. It's a little too high, so we just peel it up. Oh, now it went down way too far. But we had that just a little, we, we needed to get this a little more even, top to bottom, even though it's not going to be. The D is okay. The S is okay. All right. I like that distance from top to bottom. And we're doing it just a little off but I'm okay with that. Um, I do, I can feel bubbles. Sometimes people take a little um, squeegee 
you've got to be careful because you don't want to ruin the silk screen. And they just, see, I've definitely got a bubble there. Okay, I'm going to peel that up just a little bit because I don't want that bubble. And that's partially because I'm, I'm ski wampus here, right? My whole thing isn't down, which doesn't matter. But where it is down, I don't want bubbles. So let's make sure this is okay. Um, usually they're flat. And, and so you don't have quite that much trouble with bubbles. But sometimes you do, especially after you've used them. I think you ha tend to have more trouble. Okay, let's go over here and kind of, I'll kind of go that far with the D. Okay, I like it. And I know it's ski wampus, but I think that's good. I'm going to use the silver. So I'm gonna get some silver. Are you seeing me here? I gotta pull back. had a good Christmas. Um, we are, all of my decorations are still up and they will be um, because we're going to have a New Year's Eve party here. And um, whether you see this before that, I don't know. Um, and I typically don't get my decorations down till mid-January. Now we'll get the tree out, but because it's real and it, it's, you know, it's been here and it's hard, it's, it's dry. Um, but still looks great. Um, the rest of like my village and stuff, it takes me a while to get the village down because I have to repack every box. Um, we also have Dave's birthday and my birthday come right up. Okay, I think that's good. It looks like everything is covered. Got rid of my excess silver there. I'm excited. I want it to look really good. I worried about that. I think we're good. Okay, oh, I want it to be so cute. And again, oh, do I want to do that back again? Nope, I'm not going to. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, my heck. Okay, <laughs> let me put it in the water bath. Oh, my gosh, I think it's cute. Oh, you guys, I really like it. I think the silver is perfect. Okay, that's cute. All right, I promised we'd do one more. Let's do the, the, the white heart. Let's do this one with just the love on it and see what we think, okay, in, in a red. And so I wrote love, we got that on there, okay. Now we're gonna fuzz this, I will just use this. It's just a smaller transfer, so we're gonna fuzz it right here on this cotton towel. Pull it up and let me feel it, it's still, let's do it one more time. I think this is gonna be cute. Just the bright red. Do I still have? I do. I still got my red. Oh, oh my goodness. I love it. I hope that you guys thought it was cute too. Okay. We're going to do love on here. Just a cute heart. Just a cute love with a little cute, cute. Okay. That, and I'm going to get my red. Okay, <laughs> I'm just making a last minute decision and I should have a smaller, but I don't. We're just gonna go like this. A heart of gold, right? That has meaning for us. I don't know, why not, right? Gosh, if I do hate it, I can just take it right off. Let me make sure that this is not doesn't have weird lines on it. Go all the way to the end there. I think we're good. Okay, guys, let's peel and reveal. What do you think? Ah, a gold heart right at the very end. I hope it looks good. Oh, it's darling. Oh, I love it. It's hard sometimes, the, the, the little ridges in here. Sometimes I, I don't like that, but I think that's cute. Okay, I was holding it off camera. I'm sorry. I like the gold heart. Now, I may take... A very small paintbrush, let me show you. I may take a very small paintbrush and just fill in where those little ridges are on the E and on the L. Um, 
the 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 wood goes inward, right? And so sometimes it looks funny, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends. And there's nothing there I might be able, yeah, I can actually fill it in right now. I just like to have that E solid. Yeah, that's better. And then let's try that L. Don't want to touch it with my, come out there a little bit more. There we go. Okay, you guys, just with a tiny paintbrush, can you see that? I just filled in those areas. Okay, I think that's cute too. I like the little gold heart. I hope you guys do too. Okay, we have done three projects. Get out of here, three or four? We've done four. She believed she could, so she did. Love, we did sparkle, and I love this one. It's just straightforward. You're just my type. Look at that white and that red. That is darling. You guys, I don't even know how long this took us. How many minutes? 20 minutes? 30 minutes, maybe. 30 minutes to do four projects, okay? Chalk Couture is so much fun. It is, honestly, I, 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 just, I just love it. And you just get such great results. Um, <clears throat> if you're interested, um, there'll be a link below. I'm sure Kefford will put it in for my Snug Harbor Crafts um, Chalk Couture page. But um, it is, honestly, a great, great product, and I am thrilled with it, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video today. You guys have a great, happy new year. See you later. Bye.